everybody tiny house dreaming here it's monday february 12th and it's like 7 a.m we were gonna get started at 3 a.m but it was minus one degree here at the truck stop in nebraska i don't even know like what city in nebraska this is but um so my trainer was like there'll probably be black ice and a lot of the trucks hadn't left yet so like the ice would be fresh and she didn't want me driving in it so we waited till it got light so at least i could see the ice so that's what it looks like outside and i have to it's like zero degree right now in wherever i am nebraska and i have to go walk back into the truck stop use the restroom real quick and we're hitting the road hopefully we will well we will make it to iowa today and she's gonna stop so i can see the world's largest truck stop um i'm excited about that because i've seen it in other people's videos like it's so big they actually have trucks inside the truck stop so i'm gonna try to come back to you guys there make a video walk you around show you the scene peep the scene with a gangster lean <laughs> so i will talk to you guys later bye guys i'm back so we are at the world's largest truck stop in iowa I'm like, you see, I'm walking in snow. Glad I got these snow boots. I'm trying to not bust my butt. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, so it's cold out here. It's like 18 degrees or something. So it's definitely warmer than what it was earlier. But we are here. We finally made it. We've been driving for eight hours straight and we've stopped so i will come back to you guys when we get in there all right okay we're almost here we're almost in we're here obviously but we're almost in there you guys see the big iowa 80 sign up there bam that's my trainer may She's video bombing me. Okay guys, we're going in. And we are here. Look at that. It's huge. World's largest truck stop. It's like, I don't know which way to go first. There's everything in here. There's one truck that's in here. I'm going to just, I think this is the brand of truck that I'll be in when I upgrade to be a solo driver. But my truck will not look like this. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm not gonna walk around it, it's huge. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna flip the camera the other way so you guys can like check it out. Well, I might get people in the shot that don't wanna be in the shot though. So, maybe I won't do that. I'll just show you guys as I walk. They have guitars here. They have everything. They have otter stuff for your phone, otter cases. They have a whole DVD section. They have like all kind of cool stuff that you can like customize your gear shift with and your hubcap, um, not hubcap, but the little things that hold your tires on. Gosh, you would think as a trucker, I would know what I'm talking about, but I don't yet. But they have stuff. Like as you go to the um, truck stops and you um, scale out, they give you these like little cards to, to your scale tickets. So here's like a little, if anybody has kids and is coming out trucking, you might want to get one of these and like collect the cards for your kids. I know my trainer collects them for her grandson it's still a baby but when he gets to be a big boy he'll enjoy looking at those 
but they have all kind of stuff for like you know different things that you might need as a trucker like your vehicle inspection report i'll definitely be grabbing one of these so when i'm on the truck by myself you can do a proper vehicle inspection report yeah so they have like some cool stuff they have the truckers truck stop directory although there's apps that tell you that type of stuff as well they have like pins oh this is cool it's a stylus a level a flathead a phillips a pin all in one but yeah they have all these supplies that you might need they have all these pillows that you might want back breasts just everything it's pretty cool and here's where like if you want to start customizing things they have all this stuff with like light up different ways you can um do your lights like different little lighting designs but yeah there's just everything now i have to use the restroom so i'm gonna pause you guys real quick find the bathroom use the bathroom then i'll be back okay guys i'm back i see stuff lit up over here it's calling for me so let me come over and see what is going on look at it. it's a whole wall of lights but this is a pretty cool truck it's a kenworth wow. and these are all kind of look at the flag over there that's pretty cool yeah i guess these are like all the front lights on your truck like the headlights and well, I guess those are some of the side lights, like you buy them as a package, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty cool. A wall of lights in a truck stop. And there's a big yellow truck. Oh, they have stairs going up to this blue one. It's Kenworth, let's check it out. Look at it inside can't really see it well because of my reflection but it looks pretty cool like all of the gauges are in blue it's a fur seat it um is really like cramped in there like i don't know how people get back to the sleeper berth area and you know a lot of you guys well not a lot of you guys but like a handful of people or have made a comment asking like, how do you sleep? Where do you sleep? When do you sleep? So the when is kind of when you run out of hours or you get tired and you kind of have to understand hours of service to like, that's not like a question that's the same for every driver. It's different for every single person. Um, the where you sleep is um, a lot of these over the road trucks. Well, all of the over the road trucks have a sleeper berth in the back. And like if you're on a trainer's truck, you have a double bunk. And like if you're gonna share a truck or have a team driver, or even if you're a solo driver, you might get a truck that has a double bunk. But in the back part of the truck, and here I'll show you on this truck, like when you see a truck going down the freeway or the highway, this back part, there's a bed back here. And if it has a double bunk, then there's a top bunk that like folds down. So that's where you sleep or how you sleep, like how you sleep is just close your eyes and go to sleep. But, and you sleep at like truck stops, rest areas, there's truck stops that have space for big trucks to pull in and you sleep there or you sleep at a rest area, you'll see long, big long um, spots and those are for trucks. So that's how and where you sleep in a truck for any of you guys who are wondering. Okay, now I'm hungry, I need to find food. And I don't know, I lost Miss May, my trainer. And they have like all the mats to match your type of, oh no, these are the, um, geez, the mud flaps. And then the foot things that go in the truck that you put your feet on, foot mats. I'm not sure what they call those, just mats. But yeah, and the... I don't know what these long type of things are for. 
But yeah, they have all that stuff here. They have like for the trucks that have the little shiny ladies or the skull, the Punisher skull. They sell all that stuff here. So if you want to like make your truck cool. Now they need like a man one like this for the women truck drivers. Because like we don't want a chick on our truck. I want a nice sexy man silhouette on my truck, right? Well, I mean, some of us might want a woman, but I don't. They have the bulls. Like, where's the Hello Kitty um, decal for us, like, Hello Kitty girls? Okay. They have a lady pot. So you use the restroom in that section. And it, yeah, there you go. And then a regular one for the guys. $37, you can have yourself a lady pilot. Looking for some other cool things. I don't know what these are for, but there's a lot of them. They have your flannel, pajama pants. Oh, I see shoes. They have cowboy boots. Nice. I'm going to at some point find me some pink cowboy boots, but they will definitely be pink. And I don't know how much I would wear them, but it would be pretty cool to have some pink cowboy boots. And I have one of these yellow vests, but I really like that pink one up there. But yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go now. Oh, there's a whole section up here up the stairs. Very interesting. This place is huge. But I am starving. We left, uh, where did we leave? Nebraska? I'm not still not sure what city in Nebraska we were in. But we left a pretty big truck stop that had like 400 spots. Um, so it was a pretty big truck stop in Nebraska at like... 7 a.m. Um, and I actually, you guys, some of you said, I can't wait to hear about your night job. And why I didn't get to night drive, I think I mentioned it in my video this morning um, that I didn't get to night drive because it was like minus one degree. My trainer was worried about there being black ice. So she didn't even feel comfortable leaving a truck stop at 3 a.m. like we were supposed to. And so we stayed until about seven and then we got on the road. She's been driving and I'm going to finish the driving as we go into Illinois because we are at the very end of Iowa right now um, so we're gonna hit Mississippi and then into Illinois so I'll finish that we should get there tonight we probably won't go to the shipper because it's gonna be late but we'll get pretty close to the shipper and call it a night and then in the morning we'll pull in and call it a day and get our next load our DM said that he was going to try to stir us west to out of the snow, so I'm looking forward to that. I have my in-cab pre-trip down, so I'm going to video that. And yeah, but so no night driving to tell you guys about. But I'm going to get back to you later because I'm going to find some something to munch on. Okay, bye guys. Guys, I'm actually going to drop my coat off to get my name embroidered on it because they have a whole embroidery thing here so that's pretty cool she said it'll take 20 minutes so while i eat i can be getting my name put on my coat and now i know when i get my prime coat when i um, go back to take my cdo test i'm going to grab my prime coat and i can bring it here to get embroidered there you go thank you so i'll talk to you guys in a minute i just keep running into more cool stuff like they have this whole knife cabinet That is pretty cool. Like you could get some pretty cool looking knives. Although in your truck you have to have under four inches. Or like the size of your fingers. The length of your fingers. Rather. But this is like all the clothing area. This place is just really huge. It's a huge, huge place. 
And if you wanted to like buy trucks for your kids, they have like all kind of cool semi trucks. They have like a little kids section with little trucks and stuff and little hats. Super cute. They have purses, little bags. And the little bag has a little bag up to it. Like you could probably fit like a dollar and change in that puppy. And look, a whole toy section over there behind me. Oh, these are cool. Polar bear feet. Nice. They feel like they're super warm, too. They just have everything here. They have like a little boot section and rain boots down there. Nice. God, this place just keeps going and going and going. It's like non-stop so this is the upstairs like see down there is where i was earlier oh look at that oh my gosh it's just like literally okay there's the food spots way over there so like all the dairy queen taco bell there's a restaurant here there's wendy's orange julius um yeah the restaurant the restaurant is that way there's like all kinds of cards and little giftables over here, like little souvenir type giftables if you want to grab something for your family. I know my trainer was over there by the knife. She said she buys a lot of her knives from here and she's still kind of hanging out over there. So I'm going to grab her and we're going to get something to eat. So guys, check out my embroidery. Pretty cool. I like it. Yep, yep, yep. I like it. Hey everybody, Tiny House Dreaming here. We made it to Illinois. Finally, we have reached, well, we're not quite at our receiver's yard yet, but we're going to spend the night here. And in the morning, we just got like an hour to go till we get to where we need to go. But we have made it. So I am happy. It's been a long day and we're gonna go in here use the restroom there my trainer keeps telling me about these weirdo toilets so i might actually record the toilet which is kind of strange but if it's as crazy as she keeps telling me it is i'm gonna record it and show you guys what these weirdo toilets are all about and she said they're at every sap brother so i don't know if you guys have ever been to a sap brothers and know what i'm talking about the truck drivers on here probably have um shout out to the truckers subscribers thanks for watching because i know you're like reliving everything because you've already been through all of this but um yeah and those of you who have had never been to a sap brothers like me i've never even heard of it but this will be my first time experiencing these weirdo toilets so i'm gonna take a little quick video and i will talk to you guys later bye have a good night guys this is the fancy toilet that she was talking about and like look at there's all kind of buttons. <laughs> kind of weird. And then on the back, it tells you what it does. Just sharing.